806 now on your Sunday morning. This is a really fun story. Artists in the Valley now have a new place to call home. It is a communal space for creative people. So we sent Jeff. She's pretty creative. It is launching right in the heart of Central Phoenix. Good morning, <laughs> Jess. I'm excited for this preview. Yeah, this is exciting. So this is a, a space called Brightside Studios, and I want to show you around. So right over here is where you can purchase artwork, and it's all from local artists. They have an art supply shop here as well, and, uh, you know, it's a family affair. I, I, wa I wanted the family the family to wave to you because um, this took a labor of love. It took a couple of years. Brad is the founder. You and your family put this thing together. This is really quite remarkable. You have a coffee house, a space for artistic types, musicians. How would you describe the space? Um, well, first, thanks for coming today. <laughs> um, I, I would describe Brightside as like the hangout spot for local creatives. It's a place where people can collaborate, network, or just hang out and enjoy the space. Let's walk around around a, a little bit. I'm blown away. So you said that this was an old furniture shop. It was 12,000 square feet. You guys bought it and have spent years remodeling it. Yeah, so we got it right at the end of 2019, which of course uh, was right before the pandemic. Um, it was an old consignment uh, furniture store. Um, so it needed a little bit of love, um, but the bones were there. Um, so we were able to um, work together with the community, see what they wanted, um, and build a beautiful space. And we have a lot of room to have fun. This area here is where people can come and take art classes. Yes, so we do uh, paint and sip nights, which are really popular. They're great ideas for a unique date night or a fun night out with friends or a team building event. Um, so on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday evenings, we host uh, beginner style classes. They're about $40 and they include a glass of wine and all the supplies you'd need. Okay, let's go down this hallway I mean every time you turn around somewhere there's something new so what makes this place so unique is you can actually come here and work in a space not mess up your own house and you have memberships so you buy a membership and then you can come here and create anything you want yes so that's kind of the unique spin on bright side is that we want to create a creative space that uh, feels like your own that's open and clean um, and doesn't hinder you from exploring uh, different colors and brushes. So if you don't have the space at home, you're not stuck in a garage or you're not stuck outside or or messing anything up, messing up the carpet. You can come here and be sloppy and Oh, exactly, paint. yeah. I did not want to cook in my own garage <laughs> and I didn't want to ruin my carpet. My wife would have killed me. So um, that's kind of how the idea started. I thought, you know, I really want to paint, but it's holding me back all these different, um, different things. So um, at Brightside, you can come and create. We have studio assistants that will come and clean up after you so when you're done creating for the day you can leave your paint brushes your dirty supplies in the trays and we'll take it for you okay so we're gonna get more of a tour with Brad they have a paint and pour section so if you want to learn to be creative you could do it here and they have a community art project that you can participate with and it's all communal and then when they're done with that art project we're gonna show you a couple uh, they give it away to anyone hmm, who wants it cool. so around with us. I'm excited. This sounds fun. I'm all about the paint and sip, Jess. Well, you'll have to give us the info. Uh, we'll have to do a little, little research. Thank you. Painting, right? Yeah. And being creative. There is a new workshop space and a coffee house that just opened up in Phoenix. Two of the best things you can really get under one roof, and it's called Brightside Studios, a place where folks can work on projects and work with others as well. Hey, Jess, we heard there's, uh, there's music, there's coffee. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's all kinds of things. This is a dream space if you're creative or you're artistic. The coolest thing is, it's like such a unique spin on the traditional studio. You can rent a space. So if you don't wanna muck up your carpet at home or, or paint in the garage, you can come down here and paint. So this is a wall of all the materials that they have. They actually also have an art supply shop so you can buy supplies here. And this is community art. So this is done, this was done by a multitude of artists and each person just takes like a piece of it and then creates something 
Amazing. Who knows what it's going to be? So this is actually in works right now. So one artist did this piece, another artist did this piece. So as it'll come together, it'll be a really cool work of art. So it's kind of a fun thing you can do here. Brad is the one who came up with the entire idea. So you buy a membership for either the month or the year. Brad, you thought of everything, like all in one spot. Well, we certainly tried. But yeah, <laughs> we wanted to be a hangout spot for Phoenix artists where you're not held back by anything creatively so you can try new colors try new brushes and it's all put together in this membership package and this these workspaces that you've created they're like little nooks cut out for each individual artist it's so neat because you can even collaborate you can walk across and ask someone for advice or you know thoughts or ideas on your artwork absolutely we get that all the time you know especially post pandemic people are ready to see each other again and, yeah. and start working together and pitch ideas so we have a great community growing here um, and what you see right now is uh, another artist a member that we have um, they've chosen an easel and just decided to set up shop today well it feels so good in this space I've been happy all morning and I think we all need that right now the news has been so terrible it just feels good to be around art why do you think that is well art I think is a therapeutic escape and it certainly was for me um, you know we need that right now and I think um, Therapy can come in many different forms and for me color certainly helps being in a space that's welcoming and safe uh, You're an entrepreneur your family is an entrepreneur you did this with your wife Vanessa, but your parents helped out a lot uh, talk about like where the idea came from. So it definitely came from my wife and I. Uh, <laughs> our firstborn, we were painting a mural, um, and I was my background's in marketing. My parents owned a marketing agency, um, and I would come home stressed. And I found that painting was therapeutic and a stress relief for me. And I thought if it worked for me, a lot of people might benefit from it. Kylie well. was asking about paint and sip. You do offer that here. It's thirty nine dollars. The membership, if you want to come and just do like a month membership. How much is that? So we do a day, a month, and a year pass. The monthly pass is $100. Okay, and this is a section that you call pour paint. Yes. Okay, but we're going to create something. What are we making? Yes, okay. So uh, one of the benefits of Brightside is that you can make a mess and okay. not worry about <laughs> ruining your carpet. Um, so this is fluid art, pour paint. So okay. what we're going to do is we're going to grab any of your favorite colors. I suggest okay. using some white and okay. we'll fill up our uh, beaker here in the middle. Okay. So let's just slowly add some paint. Okay. I'm going to grab some white. And then I can do different colors. Different colors. This is going to be pretty mistake -proof I'm going to do pink and purple because those are my favorite colors All right. and and then we'll I've see what cool colors, what we create right. <laughs> so when you've got your paint kind of in there it's we're spilling gonna, out yep that's the idea so okay. we're gonna lift it up and kind of move it around oh my make goodness make sure you have plenty of paint make sure it comes out look at what i'm making you guys <laughs> i got a d in art by the way <laughs> well you'll so, get an a here okay, okay so when you're done with your beaker you can throw it in the bucket but look at i made like a beautiful I love star it. and I the other thing since the paint is so fluid you can start to tilt and make your abstract what do you think of this you guys do you guys like work. to paint Look at how pretty that is. <laughs> Look what I made. Oh my goodness. So we didn't use quite enough paint this go, but you know, people who are actually good at fluid art, <laughs> they will come and they'll splatter paint, they'll do their best Jackson Pollock impression, they'll try out different colors, and it's a space unlike anything in Phoenix where you can be able to do this for the first time. This is awesome. Thank you so much, Brad, for Thanks your time. For being here. So, what do you guys think? Did you love it? Yeah. I made something. A everyone's an artist there, which is great. <laughs> And I like that they have those paint and sip classes for yes. 39 bucks. That's a pretty fun date night. Kylie has gotten her husband on board. Uh, my boyfriend, I think he'll want to go. We'll have to check and see. But uh, I, lo I love those little paint and sip. And finally, Jess, something aside from going to a sports <laughs> bar and watching a game. So you're giving me new Thank date you. ideas. Thank you. Saving the marriage three months in. <laughs> Thanks so much, Jess.